Welcome to Gail's Garden Herbs and More. Right now I am just um, taking some dried thyme. Oh, that one didn't dry too good. I'm going to let that set that aside. Most of these are dry. I don't know why that one didn't. Anyway, some dried thyme. I just did that one. I've been doing some research and they say the chloroquine, I think that's how you pronounce it, that... Uh, they're talking about that could be a cure for this uh, virus, plus it's mixed with other stuff. You can't use the stuff they use to do fish tanks. A guy tried that on his own and he died. Okay, you have to do it like any other medication. You have to get a prescription from the hospital for, or from your doctor. Um, some of these just did not dry. They Just too much rain lately, too much moisture in the air. I'm going by feel. I can tell when they're dry, and the dry ones I'll just pull off. But they're not, that's not dry enough either. I'm not going to think I'm going to have much luck on this. <laughs> Wait a little longer, I guess. But anyway, back to the chloroquine. It was used to be used as a malaria drug. Now, there are some other herbs. There's one called sweet annie or sweet wormwood, same plant, just different, people call it different things. And it also used to be used for um, malaria, where it was chloroquine resistant. The sweet annie would actually work, from what I've heard. And someone is driving down in front of our house in a little cart. It's so cute with a little horse pulling it, a pony pulling it. I see them quite often. They, I think they go visit relatives around here in their little cart. I should have taken a picture of it. But they'd probably already be gone by the time I got out there. But anyway, back to my chloroquine. I'm chasing rabbits here. Um, yeah, they would use the sweet Annie instead. Now, uh, I am just wondering if the sweet Annie would work on this virus as well. I have not heard anything on it. I'm just doing research on my own. And uh, it really sounds pretty interesting. I understand it was also the sweet annie or sweet wormwood, whatever, whichever you prefer to call it, was also used to fight Lyme disease. And there's another herb that was used that's used to fight Lyme disease called teasel. And I'm also wondering because there's some of the same properties in these plants. If you were to, because you can get sweet annie and you can make it's just not dry enough. You can get sweet annie and you can make a tincture or you can make it into a tea. When you do the tincture with the sweet annie, though, you do not want to dry the herb. You want to put it in as a green herb. I don't have any sweet annie or I would show you. But I'll tell you, if any of you know somewhere where I can get some seeds for sweet annie, I would like to grow my own. Would you please email me and let me know? Because I would really, really like to try to grow some sweet annie. It's a great parasitic if you uh, need to get rid of some parasites as well. Very medicinal plant, and I would really like to have some. You, uh, it's related to wormwood. Uh, there's another type of wormwood that it's related to. And it's also related to mugwort. So I've heard of a lot of different people that use mugwort, which is another plant I do not have. I don't know where I'm going to put all these plants. I'm running out of room to put plants. But I really would like to get some mugwort and some sweet annie and just have it on hand. Even if they get rid of this virus, we're in a world with all these labs where things can be released or come now that they are, some are released, they can hide for a while and then come back. So I would like to have my herbs to be able to fight that stuff. Um, so I'm going to start looking for some sweet annie seeds. I would like to get some mugwort. Some of you may have some mugwort. I would really like to get some. Maybe I can do some trade of something that I have that you would like. Please contact me through my email. I'd like to get some mugwort. I'd like to get some sweet annie. Maybe even some teasel. Um, they very, very medicinal plants. I'll find somewhere to plant them. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was interesting. Guys, we can do things naturally. God did give us herbs for medicine, for food and medicine. And also, there is some uh, word that it fights 
cancer as well. They say, I, I have heard, this is nothing that I know for sure, but I've heard, I think it was after a dosage within 16 hours, um, it started killing the cancer cells. I'm thinking, wow, um, this is within ingestion, they say, that this sweet wormwood or sweet annie starts killing cancer cells within 16 hours. I don't know if you heard me say that. I, I was blown away when I heard that. I know there's a lot of herbs that do help to fight cancer. And we're going to be finding out more about them in the short future, I think. Unless some of these bad guys get control like they're fighting to get. The ones that have been fighting to get control of stuff. Um... Well, they have, they've had control for several years. That's why everything's in such a mess. But they're starting to lose that control and they're scared. But anyway, I don't want to get into all that. Um, I just want us to look at if we've got a healthy body overall, and some of us don't because we have, when by the time you get older, you have wear and tear in your body that's caused problems. And But you can... Now, what I do is try to keep down as many problems as I can because I have enough to fight with on things that I can't really, there's, like the blockage, I can't correct that unless it was with surgery and I won't do surgery. So, um, but I can keep, keep it, the infection from getting infected so much by using certain things. It's a fight. It's a battle. Um, but we're in a battle for our health, let me tell you. Uh, right next to me, they're out there working on the cell phone tower again. Makes me so mad. We moved in here, there was no cell phone tower, and then they put one in, and we just can't afford to move. So, um, and I'm close here to my kids and stuff, so. <sighs> but they're at, they've been out there working. They're either dismantling it. Oh, I wish, I wish. They're really doing a job. They've been out there every day. A little bit during the middle of the day when most people aren't noticing, but I'm out in my garden and yard a lot, and I see. They're either dismantling or completely redoing it. I don't know what they're up to. I hope they're not putting in 5G. But uh, anyway, that's going to be, I don't know if I can fight that with my herbs. I mean, I can take my herbs and it will help, but that's a pretty powerful bad thing. And yeah, I just... Anyway, I don't want to get into that either. Other than people, we need to fight for our health. Because, especially young people, you don't understand yet, really. Some of you do. But a lot don't what it is to fight for your health because you just feel good most of the time. But as you get older and your body gets worn down, it's a fight for your health. You know, it's really getting to be a fight even for the young people. I have a young niece in her 30s. I think she's still in her 30s. And... She's fighting cancer. It's been a hard battle. Um, but yeah, even young people are being affected now. So it is a battle. Uh, we need to keep working at it. If any of you out there like me that like to research on stuff, look into these other herbs that chloric or other things that chloroquine was used for, that uh, they use them also for the same thing because they have some of the same properties. And if we can't get a hold of the chloroquine and you really only want to use that through your doctor but if something were to happen and you can't get get it or maybe you live in Nevada where you have a governor that won't let you um, hopefully he changes his mind or uh, they get a new governor whatever happens um, yeah, maybe there's some herbs that we can use that would be safe. Now, I'm not going to try to take chloroquine because I'm not a doctor. And I wouldn't advise anyone else to either, for sure. That is a drug. These drugs out here, you have to be careful with any of them. Not just chloroquine. Any of them. If you overtake them, what the doctor tells you to take, it can kill you or make you really hurt you bad. So you have to follow your doctor's advice on that. But... I don't go to the doctor if I can help it, and pretty much I help it and just try to deal with what I have. Uh, once in a while I give in, and I go, and then I regret it. But um, maybe you can find your own stuff so you don't get so sick if you happen to get a virus or something. I had something hit me the other day. My tonsils started swelling up, so I immediately got my zinc and, and 
sucked on my zinc tablet, full zinc. That stuff tastes yucky and terrible, but when you let it just go down your throat, it coats your throat, and you know it took that right away, whatever I was coming down with. That, and then I took echinacea and different herbs. But, yeah, but that doesn't always happen. Sometimes I can't, you know, I'm going to have to suffer the consequences of whatever I'm coming down with, but it usually shortens it, but it got rid of it overnight, and that happens quite often. I can get rid of it pretty quick, usually. But uh, uh, just a few words while I'm working on trying to find the little dry pieces of thyme. Looks like I really don't like to put this in the dehydrator because it, I'm, not, I'm afraid of it killing the properties. Maybe if I just do it in a really, really low, low temperature because these are just not dry. Um, I've also got to get some calendula that I picked dried too. Um, these are so beautiful. Just so I'm reaching over. Sorry, guys. Hope that. Anyway, look at those. Aren't they just so beautiful? My calendula. I just love calendula. I like. I have yellow ones, but I love the dark orange. They just seem to pop, and they're just so pretty. And it's a very, very beneficial herb. But um, I'm gonna let y'all go. I don't know how long this is already, but just some ideas to think on.